Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rachachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutation unto the elect. All right, and what you're looking at is the result of poison. Poison, poison, poison. All right, uh, thug culture, you know, uh, black culture, gangster rap. Okay, and, and, and all of these things that have been orchestrated by your enemy and made, you know, sure to be the standard of what you are. Okay, when you when you think of black, the, the, this is the image that automatically comes with it. This is why we as Israelites, okay, as cute as it was at one point in our life, <laughs> uh, we should be separating from that term black. Because that is a constant, that is a, a a buzzword, okay, that automatically places you in a category, and it's been used to breed confusion uh, uh, and to orchestrate a horrible culture that has bred you nothing but death, all right? Because what? When you rebel against the Heavenly Father, judgment follows. Now, the scriptures say, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, all right, then the hearts of the sons of men are in them to do ultimately whatever the hell they want because you don't feel like any judgment is going to come upon you. But now we're in a time of judgment. You see, in a spiritual, a spiritual man, a spiritual being in this time would be very calculative with their steps. You'd be very uh, careful of what you say. And one thing that I've learned in this truth okay is the 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 power of what you speak you see the power of what you speak the power of what you say even about yourself all right the, and, and when you look at rap music when you look at ghetto culture uh gangster rap you know the the only thing that it put out was death you know the, the destroying your own kind you know and it's ironic that you're all so hardcore and you're quick to fight and shoot each other. But when it comes to the so-called white man, let's march. Let's talk about it. You know, let's let's come to some common ground. Accept me. Love me. And you, you thugs are just a bunch of uh, clowns, man. You have low self-esteem. That's why you're always talking about, uh, you know, I got shot. You know, I got this. Or you have some carnal possession to boast in or... Uh, you boast in uh, destroying your own kind. You set traps for one another. You uh, uh, terrorize and rob the neighborhood. Who's oppressing the neighborhoods? Who's who's putting hell on the elderly in the in in the, in the so-called black community? Other little niggas, man. <laughs> and, and, and and you uh, you let the police be taken away from these neighborhoods, man. The niggas are gonna go be even worse because the only time a nigga gets in some sort of order is when the so-called white man shows up that's when he pulls his pants up hides the crack you know uh, uh you know so you get tightens his uh his, his voice hi you know but benny the butcher um which i believe he's from buffalo was shot in the leg why 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 are these niggas just getting shot left and right pop peep, bam boom pop niggas just getting shot <laughs> you think niggas be immune to bullets as much bullets has been put up your ass since you've been over here in america man but niggas are just getting shot niggas are just dropping dead on the freeway hanging from trees because the judgment of the Lord is upon you because when you breed death, when you push death, death is going to return unto you. See, we are speaking life. The new song is so beautiful, man. It, it, it's above anything that any rap rapper, any uh, album, anything that you've heard in this world. Nothing could amount to the song that the Heavenly Father has given us to sing, man. So this this whole rap culture has been used by your enemy all right to categorize you because he can always point to that he, he he can always point to black culture he can always point to chicago he can always point to these things when 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 the scopeo was on him and he orchestrates it he funds it 
You see? <laughs> so he 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 he's been at the forefront of, of 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 giving you a culture that is based upon rebelling against the heavenly father, not watching what you say. So what returns to you is death. This is why you got a foot up your ass. This is why you're constantly being shot. This is why you're constantly being judged. This is why you constantly can't uh, get ahead. Because the what you push, what you are about is ultimately anti-Messiah uh, uh, activities. Which means you love death. You see, as the scriptures say, let's get that. Now, we're going to get this too. Because when you go to that, also little, little Boosie got shot. Okay, Lil Boosie got shot. You know, remember this dude flipped the bird to the most high over him not being able to eat swine. See, everything's fun and games and a joke. You know, which Esau can be doing some left-hand wickedness too with all of this. But at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, judgment is going out. That's the bottom line. And, and, and if you're looking at what's happening, these videos ain't going to be on YouTube much longer. Okay, the, the our algorithm is getting stronger. All right, because these companies are being uh, are pressuring uh, YouTube as to why these particular kind of videos are able to to to, to uh, stay up. Facebook, uh, why are these videos that are speaking against the new world order able to just spread so so freely? You need to build an algorithm that will take them down. So what is that going to lead to? Famine of the word. You see. So, so this devil is getting ready to come down with, with, with great wrath, man. Okay, and, and and you're not gonna have the answers as to why because the the whole time, okay, under your grace period, the whole the, all you've done is folly. All you've done is push death into the earth. Okay, you had this other guy get shot. You know, let's let's get Galatians six and seven. Because this is what you Israelites have forgot. You have to watch what you say. You have to, you you have to have control control and rule over your spirit, man. You see, you can't just react, and that's what black culture is all about: reacting. You you mad, automatically react. You don't think. You don't you don't you don't you don't wonder how your action could affect your 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 child's life or your freedom or nothing. It's just based upon emotions or an irrational uh, behavior towards one of your own kind. You see? So the only thing that can re re come back to you if this is what you are about is death. Is hard times. Calamity. See, the elect... What they're pushing into the earth, Lord willing, I'm of that number, you're of that, we are of that number. What we're pushing into the earth is life. So, Lord willing, we're going to reap what you put out into the earth. Okay, what, what you sow, you reap. And this is something that our people have forgotten. You see, even you all who are coming on the comment boards and making all of these stupid arguments and doing, you don't, Jake doesn't think, you know, like, uh, in the wilderness, you had those three cats, you know, and eventually the earth swallowed them and their families and their children up. You know, uh, 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 Johnny's and Jam uh, Jambries, may, I don't know, the names are escaping me. But ultimately, they were rebelling against Moses and Aaron and, you know, do, and they didn't think at that moment, you know, well, you know, what if the Lord deals with me for this? Let me, let me stop. No, they didn't. The, the, they, they didn't stop. So what happened to them? They were swallowed up. The earth swallowed their asses up and their children and their wives while they were in the camp chilling and the earth just a sinkhole. <laughs> you see, and this is the type of judgment that's getting ready to take place on the earth. Two thirds of our people are getting ready to be swallowed up, man. The Lord is getting ready to really devour you. And I wholeheartedly agree. Okay, we cannot wait into this wicked and horrible, uh, 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 decrepit generation is taken out of the earth, man, so that we can start over with those who who, who are uh, of that number and purify, okay, under Yahweh Shai, uh, the, 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 the gene pool of Israel, man. 
<laughs> and be brought into that second coming. This is Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Okay, so you have to be careful of what you say. You have to be careful of what you do. You have to be very, very calculated with your words, especially what you speak on yourself as a uh, individual you could speak death on yourself you could be you could speak sickness on yourself i went through a stage of that you know i'm sick i'm sick so you, you you saying you sick well you sick but that stopping that alone getting out of that mind frame uh, that alone makes you feel better then you start to fight and overcome death to the point where death has no no no, no uh, uh that's what we're fighting for so that death can have no dominion you know over 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 our being man you know so god is not mocked you're not gonna just put out death and breed death and glorify death and celebrate death and uplift death and halloween and gangster rap and bloods and cribs and gang and you know being a christian but a, a thug in the streets and nah man no, you know, believing in sweet Jesus, you know, going to church, acting a goddamn fool, foaming out of your mouth, running up and down, the, 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 the you know, bumping into stuff, just done. And this is what black culture uh, and this is the, the, the state that your enemy wants you to constantly be in, man. Your, your, your enemy wants wants you to be filled with folly, man. And that's what rap, black, fuck to hell with all of that, man. We as Israelites should be in the spirit of separate, separating ourselves from the, the emotional tie to black people, blackness, black culture. It is nothing to glorify. It is an, it is an experiment by your enemy, the devil, that has proven to be a failure. All of your, your, the shows you, glory, we, we, we grew up loving. Martin. Okay, what was in that? A, a man dressing as a woman so everything that we thought was anything within this whole black experience it was anti-messiah it, it, it was against the lord so in 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 coming back to him we have to cleanse the temple we have to cleanse the spiritual temple and rid ourselves of those idols man in the in those ways man now, does that to say some of us ain't going to, you know, some brothers are going to listen to rap music and things like that. But the the, the, the beauty of, of, of us is that there's no enchantment on us, on the elect. You see what I'm saying? But you have people in this earth that don't have the spirit of the Lord dealing with them. So they'll hear these things and these enchantments and these this magic. It works on them and they go out into the earth and they push forth that energy and vibration and nothing returns from it but confusion. Even if it's, let's say it's fake, Esau is at the forefront of it and niggas are tied to, you know, playing these roles and doing all this stupid folly because Esau really wants to control your, your, uh, your, uh, perception of reality. You know, he does that with, with these events, you know, uh, orchestrated events and wars and, you know, um, cases that we followed over the years that, you know, there's a lot of this shit was orchestrated, but ultimately what's happening is everything is being exposed. We're living at a time that the, the, what you sold America, Babylon and great Esau, Edom. Okay. Which as what does the scripture say? As the, uh, the ruler is, so is the people that uh, follow him. So the people of the earth, the, the, the time that we are on the earth, that people who have done a lot of wickedness, and have got away with doing that wicked. We're in the time of that 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 hell, that vibration, what they've sown into the earth to come back to their ass. And this is a time where you, as an Israelite, you got to be like, damn, let me, you know, uh, let me let me watch what the hell I'm doing. But when you look at Jake, you know, just as the sons of God at the time of Noah, they're getting worse. <laughs> they're, in, they're not even paying attention the, these chariots are popping up that stuff right there when you see those chariots that should make you act right man but niggas are getting worse waxing worse being proud 
you know, to just, 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 just all out of order. But it's all good. It's all good, man. For he, Galatians 6 and, and 8, for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, death. And that's what these niggas have sold to the flesh, man. But he that soweth to the spirit shall reap life everlasting, man. And this is a very, very, let's get uh, the book of Proverbs. This is a very, 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 very perverse and proud generation, man. I think it's Proverbs 31. There's a generation, maybe 30. Nah. Yep, Proverbs 30. And... Let's see, curse thee, and I'll be found guilty. Man, the the, the, the the scriptures are it, man. This is it. This is uh, uh, Proverbs 30 and 11. There's a generation that cursed their father and doth not bless their mother. Okay, and these negative, uh, destructive, poisonous traits have been taken on as a culture, man. Okay, this is what Jake is all about, man. You know, cursing their, the father. There's no respect respect is not pushed in black culture what is the standard of black culture why would you as an israelite all right push black uh, uh culture when it, the, it what's the standard of it show me where where is the standard in black culture what is the moral code what, what can, can a man wear a dress absolutely he can tyler perry christians that's a christian organization that he's running you see <laughs> so, so so this is proverbs 30 and 12 there is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness man and that's this generation man as, the, as the, in the scriptures say in wisdom of solomon horrible is the end of that wicked and unrighteous generation because there's two generations amongst the nation of israel you had the generation of the, those who are written in the book of life, okay, which are the elect, okay, and then you have the generation of the two-thirds, the undesirables, who were chosen from the foundation of the earth within the Lord's story to be enemies of the gospel, enemies of the men of the Lord, enemies of the believers of this truth, you see? So, <laughs> man. We just hope that we're we're chosen within the Lord's movie, and it's all His doing. Cause the, the souls and spirits belong to Him. How the hell you go tell the Lord how to write His movie? He can't choose particular people from the foundation of the earth to lose. Absolutely, He can. <laughs> and the people who are who who are gonna uh, uh, come into some serious destruction, it's gonna happen swiftly. It's gonna be beautiful, and we're watching it. These niggas are losing. These niggas are getting shot. Niggas fit to go broke. Niggas planes about to start crashing. This is that generation that got to go. The niggas that just wouldn't stop, man. And then, those of you who are left in the earth, when the Heavenly Father, uh, uh, you know, brings New Jerusalem down out of heaven. <laughs> Ooh, we're, the, the, you're going to have to, the, the, the elect are going to have first dibs under Yahweh Shai of setting Israel in order. And, and guess who, what, what we're going to do? Because we were, we were fishing, but we're going to become hunters, man. You just wait until the Heavenly Father seals the deal on you wicked, rebellious niggas, man. Because you're a bad taste. You're a smoke in the nose of the Lord. You, you're, you're, you're not fit. You cannot run a kingdom with people such as the, 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 these people. The, the, the mind frame of the men, the mind frame of the women within black culture and what, what, what has been uh, uh, lifted up as a standard is nothing to be proud of. It's nothing. It, it was a failure. It was absolutely disrespectful to the, 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 the Most High and His Son. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyelids and their eyelids are lifted up. 
in one second. It says, there's a generation whose teeth are as swords. It says, wait, there's a generation how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up proud. You know, there's a generation whose teeth are as swords. Very, very vicious, very, very emotional, very, very wicked, very, very, you know, uh, uh, injurious in your acts. And mainly towards one another, man. And when you put that type of energy out into the earth, it's going to return unto you. And that's what rap culture, that's what Esau, as, you know, even with these drugs, these things were meant to destroy you generations down the line, man. With, with a behavior like that, the Lord will never deal with you. Thank God that the Lord have set forth a remnant to return to him because without that, we'd be done. Without Noah, we'd be done. So, there's a generation whose teeth are as swords and their, their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. And that's the, these wicked jakes, man. And, you know, when you deal with the tongue, man, uh, Sirach 19 and 6. He that can rule his tongue shall live without strife. And the reason a lot of people have strife is because of what they put out into the earth, man. Their mouth, their their energy, the things that they do. You find yourself in in constant, you know, uh, 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 you know. And now this, we're the men of the Lord are going to go through things. Don't get me wrong. And hey, a lot of the, some of the things we go through is judgment. A lot of the things, some of them is test. But a lot of it's judgment. You know, we, we get judged even in the truth. You know, you know, when you're getting judged. But the mind, you know, when you're getting judged, you, you should always be asking you how about Shemiah Shai? What does he want you to learn instead of trying to justify yourself? And see, black culture is very you, you try to justify wickedness is very dependent upon the so-called white man to tell them what to think. What's history? What to what to uh, believe? What what the what the characteristics of their savior? Who's God? What he looks like? You know they they're very dependent upon him. That's why they're begging him to accept them. You know, even in this whole Black Lives Matter thing, that's set up by your enemy to 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 keep you in that whole trap, man. It's all a trap. It's a snare. That's why uh, it's called trap music, too. A lot of that music, man, because it's a trap. That's why the hood is called the trap, because it's a trap. It's a snare, man. And he's had you in this cycle. OK, uh, 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 and, 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 and it's led to you just being destroyed, man. So we're in the time, man, where the Lord is getting ready to judge wholeheartedly amongst our people, man. Why? Because they, they, they've they pushed too much death. The Lord has had enough. What you get from the Lord taking the, the, the Lord is nothing else to say. The Lord is getting ready to just say, you know what? He's showing you who the men of the Lord are. He, you know, the, 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 the word is nothing. Nobody has an excuse. So we're at the point now where it's just judgment time, man. It's time for the, 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 the man of sin to come down with great wrath. And it's time for the Lord to glorify his elect. Okay? We've spoken life into existence, man. So our expectation is life. Our expectation isn't to lose death. You know, what if the chip get in me? Nah, our expectation is to win. In order to win... In order to have, you have to detach from black culture, man. He that can rule his tongue shall live without strife, and he that hated babbling shall have less evil. Let's see here. Sirach 22 and 27. Who, who, who shall set a watch before my mouth and the seal of wisdom upon my lips that I fall not subtly by them and that my tongue destroy me not your tongue can destroy you what you say and what you do 
can really, really dictate the hell that's coming to you because we're living in the time of judgment. Okay, the 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 uh, uh, <laughs> there's another side to your bullshit, man, and nobody gets away. <laughs> that's the beauty of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Nobody gets away. Just look, I typed in tongue. Sirach 6 and 5. Sweet language will multiply friends and fair speaking and a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings, man. So you reap what you sow, man. Okay? The, the more you give, the more the Lord will give to you. Okay? What you put out into the earth is very, very important, man. And this is where Esau has got you, Israelite. You forgot the, 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 the fear of the Lord. You don't have any thought pattern when it comes to what you say, what you do, how you approach things, how you react to things. You have no rule over your spirit. And going into the times that we're going into, that's going to be a very, very horrible way to live. It's going to, you're going to lose. <laughs> you see, wisdom is very, very important, man. You see, but you all have not uh, 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 paid attention to what's happening, man. Sirach 5 and 13, honor and shame is in, is in talk and the tongue of a man is his fall. Woo! The tongue of a man is his fall. And Esau has... In America, made sure that you've had poison in you. And we all have poison in us. We're still ridden. We're still cleansing the temple. We ain't finished. But the poison is way, the poison that we have picked up here in Babylon and Great, it is thick. All right. And a lot of it deals with the things we speak, the things we were saying that brought judgment on us, the things we you know, gave, you know, burnt incense to, so to speak, because burning incense to something represents your, the, the, the your, it's a sacrifice, okay, I meaning you're paying homage to it, like, you, you're, like, you know, you're, that's when the, the Lord said, you know, you burn incense to other gods, you know, burning incense is synonymous with your prayers going up, you know, to the heavens, you know, you, you, usually you would, you know, when you would burn incense, you would be praying to the Lord, you know, now burning incense, you can just burn it for smell. If you you want you want to, you know, cook, put a spirit in your you know good smell in your house because smells are very important. The Lord deals with smells and all of that. It's a part of our culture, you know. But the burning of incense, you know, in our uh, uh, back in the temple, it was all synonymous with, you know, uh, offering up a sacrifice unto the Lord, man, so that He can be well pleased with the the savor, you know, along with your prayer, your request. You know, so, you know, the, 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 in, in, in our sacrifice is our lips, this doctrine. You see, so what we're speaking is life. You know, while these niggas are speaking death, man. That's it. You know, that is mainly this one in Galatians, man. Um, Galatians six, be not deceived, man. God is not mocked. The most high ain't playing. He, he, everything that's written in this book, he meant it. And he sent his servants out to tell you now judgment is here. Now we're living at judgment time. And see, this is a, this is the time where we shine. We're going to shine through this persecution. Speak that into existence. We're going to shine through all of this. While our people who have reaped flesh, they're not going to have anything to fall back on. What is Floyd Mayweather going to do? What is his cars? What is his money going to do when the whole the whole economy shuts down? Okay, uh, uh, all hell is breaking loose. People are rioting. People are after your ass. Your people are turning on you. The people around you uh, are ultimately, uh, uh, you know, after your ass. Because that's what's coming. The Lord is fit to break everything up, man. Disarray is coming. The Lord is fit to spoil dreams. 
think you about to, a lot of you you niggas are about to lose. The two thirds are, are gonna go out horribly, man. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I gotta get it, you know. But it's gonna take me uh, putting this on uh, airplane mode. What is that? Wisdom of Solomon three. Oh, damn, 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 damn. Let's just go there. Hold up. Yeah, this, this, this you, you niggas are getting judged, getting shot all in your ass, boy. Pow! Oh, yeah, nigga, shut your ass up. Shut your ass up, niggas. Most High is tired of you niggas, man. It's tired. It's time for niggas to shut up. What, what does a nigga have to say in 2020? You've said enough. You know, there we go. Let me put it back on airplane mode. All right, call all y'all about Shemesh. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon three. Right, and 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 uh, whew. let's see here. I start at fifteen. For glorious is the fruit of good labors. Glorious is the fruit of good labors, man. Good labors is what you sow. I mean, what you, you know, uh, you sow, what you sow, what you put out. You know, for glorious is the fruit of good labors and the root of wisdom shall never fall away. All right. As for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection. Okay. And the seed of the unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. And this is you niggas, man. You're that unrighteous generation. Even Yahawashai spoke of that generation. <laughs> he said he's going to require these things of this generation. Yahawashai himself said it. And we're witnessing it. Nigga, you niggas are about to lose, man. For though they lived long, yet they shall not be regarded at their last age shall be without honor. And you, you guys are going to go out without honor, man. Or if they die quickly, they have no hope, neither comfort in the day of trial. And we're living in the day of trial. For horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. See that? Horrible is the end of that unrighteous generation. You know? Yep. Yep. Horrible is the end. Of this unrighteous generation, man. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> the black, the the black Air Force Ones, huh? Well, this is what we're witnessing, man. It's judgment of the Lord because they've reaped, they've they've they're reaping what they've sowed. And to our people who 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 uh, uh you know uplifted these things, you're just as guilty. Who push these still push this vibration? You're just as guilty. And the majority of you are Christians who who push these ways, who actually act and do these ways, commit adultery, eat whatever the hell you want to eat. There's no just just say whatever you want to say. Hopefully I will edify it. Shalom.